uh, page eight on um, equations and inequalities. Ramona's walking 10,000 feet for a fundraiser. She walks at a rate of 270 feet per minute. This situation is modeled by the equation. Okay, so then we really don't care about this lady. We know that we've got this equation and we wanna know which table fits. Okay, so I'm gonna just plug in numbers. Now, if I plug in a one, will that give me enough different answers? No. So I'm not going to do the one part because notice I would have only eliminated 50%. Now is three different for all of them? No, three is, di is the same for these two. What about eight? Um, eight looks like it's different. Look, eight has an answer of that. Eight has an answer of that. Eight has an answer of that. And eight has an answer of that. Because they're all different answers, that means all I have to do is substitute in once. So 10,000, then it says minus 270. And instead of writing a T, I'm gonna plug in the number eight. Oh, I guess that's why it might be important that we're doing this. Let's see. The rate is 270 per minute. And D is the remaining number of feet. Okay, so that's good, yes, we're doing this right. Um, order of operations tells me I have to do this first because PEMDAS says parentheses, which there's really nothing in my parentheses to do. It's just an eight. Sorry, I wrote PEMDAS. And the next one, if there are none, then it has to be multiply and divide. So multiplying 270 times eight. Eight is zero. Oh, what is that? It's not 48. I think it's 56. I hope it is. I hate eights, uh, 16, 21, okay, 2160 minus 10,000. Now you either chose to bring down that minus sign or played with tic-tac-toe where you have your positives on the diagonal, everything else is negative, and you said negative 270 times a positive eight, negative 270 times a positive eight makes a negative answer, okay? now. Last step is to, is to subtract 10,000 minus 2160. Zero. Ugh, borrowing. Okay. That's a zero. This is a nine. And this is a nine. This is the only one that gets what I call full credit or full value. That's a four, nine. That's an eight, nine, eight, seven. 7,800. 40. Yes, this is the only one. So F has to be the right answer. Okay. And on the bottom, a seven inch candle burns at a rate of two inches per hour. Which equation represents the relationship between Y, the height of my candle in inches, and X, the number of hours the candle burns? Okay, so X is hours. Y is the height. It's a seven inch candle and it burns at a rate of two inches per hour. Okay, let's look. So seven inches is not the rate because this has to be the rate. That means that this is the number that's being uh, multiplied or the one that's attached to my X value. So let's look, that's okay, that's okay. Not okay, okay, because seven is not my rate. And then this one, same thing, not okay. So I've got two choices, 2x plus 7. Okay, why would we be adding? Oh, it's burning, right? So when a candle burns, is that going to mean it's growing or it's making it shorter? Well, if it's making it shorter, this, this one has to be it. It's got to be B, right? Shorter meaning negative. Here, it's like saying it's going to burn but then we're adding on seven inches to it. No, not true. 